Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Early experiments Where does photosynthesis take place? How many pigments are involved in photosynthesis? What is light reaction? The electron transport. Where are the ATP and NADPH used? The C4 pathway. Photorespiration. And the factors affecting photosynthesis. So how do we introduce this lesson on photosynthesis? The term photosynthesis is not a new one for you as you have been studying about this process since maybe when you were in class 7th or 8th, right? So photosynthesis in simple terms is the food preparation process of green plants. We all know that green plants are autotrophs, that is they can prepare their own food. When it comes to food preparation, you can uh, think of ourselves for to uh, to find out the similarity between us and the plants for example we eat so many different stuffs for example we eat vegetables we eat um, some of us are even um, non-vegetarian so we eat fish egg meat but do we eat it just like that we need to prepare that right so for that what do we do there is a process of cooking where we prepare the food, we cook the food, we mix it with all spices and make it edible and then we eat it. So in a very similar way, plants also prepare their own food. In order to prepare their food, they need some raw materials. The similar way you need, you know, say the vegetables, the spices in place so that you can prepare a dish. Similarly, plants also need all the raw materials, all the correct environmental conditions to prepare their food. Now the question is, what is the food of the plant? So the food is prepared in the form of sugar, in the form of a simple sugar glucose. And then the food is stored in a plant in the form of starch. So now you all know what is a glucose, it is a monosaccharide. What is a starch? It is a polysaccharide. So see, these things help. As you go ahead with you know, lessons, you get to know more and more knowledge on each and every minute thing. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about this process of photosynthesis in much more detail. That how exactly the process takes place, what are the various chemical reactions which are involved in the course of this process. So that is the agenda of this lesson, to discuss photosynthesis in detail. Now, before we get into the detail, let us start from the scratch. However, I know that all of you are aware of what is photosynthesis, but still for a quick recap, let me start from the beginning. So what is photosynthesis? It is the process by which green plants prepare their food in the form of glucose in presence of sunlight. So, as I said, the food is prepared in the plants in the form of glucose, which is a simple sugar. Now, in order to prepare this, plants need raw materials. Now, what are those raw materials? We will see that a little later. They need carbon dioxide, they need water, and this has to happen in presence of sunlight. Why? Because sunlight, what does sunlight have? Sunlight has the light energy. So sunlight basically provides the energy required for the process to take place. For example, when you are cooking, cooking also requires energy. Sometimes you would have seen that when you don't feel well, for example, your mom is not well. So she feels weak. She doesn't feel like cooking food. Correct? So if there is no one to cook food, it, it is not prepared. So the process of cooking doesn't take place. So in order that the process takes place, your mom should have some energy. Correct? So in a very similar way for the process of photosynthesis to take place, plants also need some energy. And who provides that energy? That energy comes from sunlight. So presence of sunlight is again a mandate for this process to take place. And also note that everywhere it mentions that this process happens in green plants. Why green plants? We will see that a little later. That why specifically the green word is mentioned. We will see that also. 
Now, this is a natural process, you can say. So, I mean, we do not say the plants that, okay, it's time to prepare food now, so start preparing your food. It doesn't happen like that. It is a natural process. It happens on its own in nature. So, photosynthesis is a physico-chemical process. So, when I say physico-chemical, it means that it is a physical process as well as a chemical process. When I say physio, because it is a physiological process. It is a natural process which takes place inside a plant and which is needed for the survival and sustenance of the plant. But at the same time, it is a chemical process because a lot of chemical changes take place during this process. When I say chemical changes, I mean a lot of chemical reactions keep occurring because this process of preparing food, for example, glucose is formed. So glucose is the product of the reaction which take place inside the plant. So there are a few reactants, there are a few enzymes which are involved, which catalyze the various reactions taking place inside the plant. Now, as we go ahead with the lesson, you will get to know that there are so many chemical reactions, there are so many chemicals which are involved in this process and that is why photosynthesis is a physico-chemical process. We will now talk about uh, the discovery of photosynthesis, how photosynthesis was, was discovered by our scientists. Now, there were a couple of experiments which were performed in the early days to, I mean, it, it was not that photosynthesis, the word came quite later. The word itself, what does it mean? Photo means light. So, photo means light and synthesis means preparation, to prepare something or to produce something. So, food preparation in presence of light is called photosynthesis. Now this term came quite later. So nobody started experimenting purposely to know about photosynthesis because that time people did not know what photosynthesis is. But while performing experiments on, on some other things, on plants, gradually scientists got to know more and more information about a process which is taking place inside all the green plants. And then they studied it in even more detail and got to know that, okay, there is a process by which every plant prepares their own food. So they gave the name photosynthesis to that process. So that is how it all came up. Now we will here talk about some of the experiments which were performed during those early days and each of those experiments gave us a bit of information and all those bits of information joined together led to the discovery of this process of photosynthesis. Joseph Priestley was one of the eminent scientists who performed quite a series of experiments and his experiments started giving us some basic idea about this process. Not it, it did not actually describe the entire process of photosynthesis but it started to give us some information at least. So what were his experiments? Let us see. Now what was his purpose? I mean when he started experiment he had some aim in his mind right? For example if we do something we do it with a with a name. For example you are studying biology. Some of you might have this purpose that okay I want to know about living organisms. So out of that curiosity you are studying it. Some of you might have an ambition of becoming a doctor and to become a doctor you need to have a very good knowledge on biology. So that is why you are studying this. So now different people might have different purpose of doing a particular thing. Similarly Joseph Presley also had a purpose to perform this series of experiment and what was his purpose? He wanted to understand the factors responsible for plant growth. Now, he always thought that, okay, starting from a small seed, it grows into a seedling. The seedling gradually matures to become a young plant. The plant again matures and gradually it develops into a big tree. So what are the factors internally which are responsible for the growth of a plant? He wanted to understand those factors. He also wanted to understand the process of food preparation in plants. 
which is now known as photosynthesis. That time it was not known, of course. So he thought that if the plant is growing, that means there is some kind of food which is being made available to the plant. For example, we human beings are growing because we eat food. So similarly, if plants are growing, some sort of food is being provided to the plant. So where is that food coming from? And what is that, how is that food getting prepared? So he was interested to know all these things and that is why he started experimenting. Now, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.